So this is a Wetapunga from Little Berry Island, which we're now transferring over to Territory Island. Uh, they're an endangered species. They're only found on Little Berry Island, whereas previously they used to be in all over Auckland, Northland, Great Barrier, and other Haraki Gulf Islands. But they're just a remnant population on Little Barrier after habitat destruction and through predation introduced predators. So this is part of a uh, species recovery for the species to spread it into other islands to spread the risk. We have a new population being set up here on Tiri Tiri today and there's also a population on Motoora Island. These species are forest dwellers, so they live in the canopy of forest species, they feed on um, foliage and um, they're nocturnal, so they're not out during the day. During the day they hide away in dead foliage. So this, speech, this uh, wetter, along with the others released today, has been reared by Paul Barrett at Butterfly Creek um, from animals that were taken off Little Barrier three years ago and they've been bred at Butterfly Creek over the last three years to get to the stage now where they're ready to release. This is unusual in the sense that usually we have direct transfers of species to new sites like Terry Terry with birds, but because numbers were so low on Little Barrier, we've had to go through a captive rearing loop to produce enough numbers for release to start a new population here. Now, Paul at Butterfly Creek has done an exceptionally good job. Um, this has never been done on this scale before, to rear a giant species. And Paul, you've learned a lot along the way, haven't you? Yes, very much so. What, what are some of the trials and tribulations you've had? Well, I've got quite a few particulars regarding their diet. Um, we're still learning the diet of them in the wild uh, and trying to equate that to feeding them in captivity. Uh, we don't just want to feed them <coughs> any old thing that they might like to eat in captivity. We're trying to um, condition them to what they would have, have in the wild as well. And uh, that's quite a, uh, an issue because they're quite particular about what they want at particular stages in their life, particularly in their very early stages. But um, otherwise, if everything's going okay with them, they seem to be fine. And um, it's very um, pleasing uh, for Butterfly Creek to see these animals reach this adult stage after hatching them from eggs. This is a, an excellent illustration of um, Doc working together with business, Butterfly Creek, but also a sponsor. Green Fingers Garden Bags has been an important contributor to the breed, breeding program, but also community groups to be able to release it here on the Tiri Tiri with the support of the Tiri Tiri um, supporters, supporters of Tiri Tiri Martin. So it's, it's a win-win situation for the species to be able to find a new home, um, the involvement of community groups, business um, with development and conservation.